Hello everyone, Pally Tom here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. In today's video, we're playing as Lady Beatrix the Tenth, a duelist, starting with the Obelisk Antique, making our skill crits have an extra 20% chance of becoming super crits. Duelists already have an insane critical hit chance. Uh, well, damage, I guess, really, because every time they dash and attack, that's a critical hit. They can also use their immunity frame and roll to get a guaranteed critical hit. So being able to actually do super crits should be totally natural, super duper easy to do on this character. Our goal today is to make our way over to Axis Mundi and hopefully beat the Prime Estuary there. However, we do have to travel through the original castle to make that happen. While we're in here, I'll keep my eyes open for any relics that have been left. And I'll meet up with you guys at the entrance. Actually, probably at the relics that we find. Okay, here we go. 50 resolve to get burning on my auto attacks. I'm down. Uh, only 30 resolve left to go, though. Defeat all enemies. That should be no problem in the starting castle. This, of course, doesn't give us a relic, though. However, it does allow me to show off our fantastic super crit damage. <laughs> It's hard to be mad about that, dude. It's really hard. I think it was the last room available for me to look in. <laughs> no, I guess it's not true. There's a little room here. Uh, almost did a full clear looking for our relics. I can't believe it. I can't believe... Ooh, defeated enemies have an 8% chance of dropping health. That could be phenomenal. That could also be really good as well. I'm gonna reroll the oh, the reroll was the right call. We're gonna lose some maximum HP, but deal 40% damage to enemies with a status effect. We apply status effects with every single cast of our spell and every single attack from our weapon. That is phenomenal. Man, I have to do a lot of backtracking to get up top. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get our run officially underway. Our teleporter costs 42,000 gold to lock in. We're never going to come back to this point ever again in our playthrough. This is fine. But just on the off chance that we do need to run through here, having that teleporter is very, very nice. Jeez, enemies uh, have a little bit more health over on this side, huh? Axis Moondy starting off with a bit of a bang. That elite really holding down this first building. There are a couple chests in here that I would like to get to. Perfect roll allows me to move through to the other side, even with a fish blocking the path. I cannot be stopped. Zombie on the roof trying to stop us from moving through. And the fire ember. Bro, I seriously think the fire embers... I was looking at our things that have killed me the most montage at the end of uh, at the end of runs. You know what we play after we defeat the the actual last boss, and I think those little ember spirits have actually taken the top of the most fatal enemies in the game to me. I I think they have the record now. I'm gonna do a big AOE here, try to just clear out a, the majority of these seekers. Take that fish down as soon as I can, but unfortunately, ran into one of his blue flames at the same time. Uh, there might be some health for me over here. Let's see. Of course not. Of course not. Settle down, little zombie. Headshot with the rapier. Takes him down in a single blow. And with that chest, we're actually looking at 258,000 gold so far, which is really not bad at all. Hey, that's great damage with the burn. Of course, our monolith. Ooh, pe- Whoa. I've never seen that before. Back-to-back -back pizzas? I wish I could emote in this game. Thank you, pizza gods. I will sacrifice this zombie in the name of the pizza gods, for you are always nourishing. And uh, I don't really, I don't really know how to, I, I don't know how to praise uh, in, uh, inanimate objects. <laughs> I did my best though. <laughs> Thank you, pizza gods. Uh, I think I can keep this guy stun locked. No, indeed I cannot. Oh my God, this is terrible. We have to make up a lot of HP for that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Thank you, pizza gods. 
Wow. They're really looking out for me. Wow. They're just making sure I needed that. That's what happened. That's what happened. All right. Uh, puzzle is lose no health. I don't know how to do this one. I'm going to combat roll and use my immunity frame. Hey, that actually worked. Uh, I've never successfully done that one on any other class, and I don't know how you're supposed to. If you know, let me know in the comments. Share the love. I don't know if there's a trick to that one or something. Great immunity frame there. Absorbs that lightning attack from the mage. Sets us up great to continue moving through this area. Uh, someone's making everyone else immune, but we took out that target very quickly. I ran right over one of those cannons and uh, didn't take any damage. That's odd. We have 369 armor right now. I did run into an armor shredding enemy ooh, inside of the main castle, so I don't know how much more we actually have to go. This cannon is immune to damage until that final barrage. They always shoot out four, and we take them down soon after. Good critical hit. Let's keep that going on the bat. Skeleton on the far side. Uh, hesitated a little bit because I didn't think he was going to die from a single attack. We have to kind of commit to moving over to this chest just to avoid the Drown Trinket plus four. We also got the Drown Trinket um, chest piece in the starting castle, which is actually a very, very good upgrade. I'm definitely going to remember to upgrade my armor after this episode. Definitely going to remember oh good damage good damage beautiful i since i took the time to get used to it the dashing auto attack has become one of my favorite maneuvers that i can do especially when i know my critical hit will kill an enemy it gives me so much confidence oh except for that that's that's the bad part that's when you shouldn't have confidence uh let's just cast our spell over here just kidding out of mana there we go Red Eye, please go back to sleep. Good hit on that knight. Fire will take him down. Looks like we are at max armor at the moment, which is great. Killed that fish actually just before it hit the ground. Uh, meaning that it didn't get its fire attack off to the sides. This is very close, but we're chilling. Uh, almost at 300,000 gold with that last kill there. Ooh, didn't see that eyeball. Hey, bud. Settle down. Perfect hit. All right, what do you got for me? Chest up top, that definitely brings us over 300,000. There was a statue there as well that we could have broken, but our health is great, uh, he says as he runs directly into an enemy that wasn't moving. Chicken God's looking out for us as well. Let's check inside of this. Uh, go, go in, and then it's down to the left because I'm on the right, correct? There we go. Thank you, commenters. Thank you for helping me remember the solution to that. And by helping me remember, I mean telling me again until it got through my thick-ass skull. <laughs> that puzzle's one of the simplest ones once you know the solution. Okay. That's coming in. Pretty aggro, too. Both of them throwing bones down in their path. And followed up by a bunny. That was actually a lot of aerial uh, denial. Glad we were able to kill them pretty quickly. Because of that increased crit chance damage, like we're we're kind of we're kind of overpowered this run. <laughs> I'm feeling really strong this run. Instantly taking out enemies like that is is uh not only is it really strong because it allows you to accumulate a lot of healing because you're not taking much damage, but it's also just so satisfying. The dash attack is so good. Well, we've had a very lucrative run so far. We might as well buy the Sun Tower Teleporter. Make sure we have this locked down for our future runs. We're definitely going to be coming back here. That means we've spent over 80,000 gold on teleporters, and we still have 280,000 gold to show in our bank account right now. That's excellent. Blue Ember moving forward. The Blue Embers aren't that bad. It's their grown-up cousins that I'm actually afraid of. Whoa! Just stepped a little too far off that ledge. Use the immunity frames from that cannonball, though, to finish off that hammer mid-cast. If I was him, I would be pissed off right now. That's bullshit. Uh, I don't want the magic eight ball, and I don't want that. All right, that was pretty easy. 
Our spell is one of my favorites in the game. I love applying status effects to things like really, ouch, really no matter the game that I'm playing, I always think it's satisfying to do like a poison or a bleed or a dot build or something. Uh, Obsidian Helm plus three, nice. Stay back. Good hop. Beautiful. I'm not afraid of the red thing. Look at that confidence. Uh, the the spectral whatever my spell's called is one of my favorites in the game. But it's also particularly good versus the prime estuary at the end of this area because there's going to be a lot of ads summoned into the fight. It allows us to spread that dot around to multiple. Oh, God. Oh, there's one, two. Woo. You know, it's funny. I feel like this... Um, if you don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking into this too much. You can let me know. I feel like if you don't play the game, what it looks like I'm doing is just dealing big damage. But if you do play the game, you know how technical each and every single kill is. It's like every single one is three inputs all at once to make that happen. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm too, maybe I'm tooting my own horn a little too much today. Uh, that potion will give us a little bit more health back. I feel like we've been knocking out this area so far. Really moving at a good, consistent cadence. I'm just going to uh, take that damage. Yep, that's what I was going to do. Definitely wasn't attempting to immunity roll that in any way. Not me. No. When I see crazy large cannonballs falling from the sky, I don't even think about dodging. Obviously. Obviously. Uh, this area is split up, split up into four different quarters, and we are on the last one right now. The final stretch to the prime estuary. Ouch. 340 damage from these Seekers. We're going to dive through there. I was hoping, oh god, for a critical hit on the rebound, but unfortunately, the, this trap got in my way a little bit. Cannonballs are going to be falling soon. Let's not get complacent, but a good hit on that skeleton opens up the pathway quite nicely. I've seen this area enough to know that we passed a crack in the wall without even looking right here. <laughs> That's when you know you play this game too much. I'm not even looking for cracks anymore. I'm looking for fucking building layouts. <laughs> How do I get out of here, though? I can't... Okay, they're back up and then to the left. Okay, perfect. Our double jump allows us to get back up to the top very, very easily. A critical hit on that cannon takes it down almost immediately as well. Um, if I can... I don't know. I guess I'm not really looking for another relic. That is extremely good. Attacking applies vulnerable at the end of the effect, meaning that uh, our next few attacks would also be critical hits. The downside is we couldn't use this as quite as much as the dodge. I believe this has a hit requirement. Uh, however, I do think it's better. Oh, I hope we didn't make a mistake there. So we can go invisible, stay invisible for a long time, and then it's 10 hits to get back to that invisibility. 10 hits is a lot. However, versus the boss, which is really what I'm always trying to gear for, um, we're going to be attacking quite a bit. And the obsidian chest plus three. And the duelist weapon is actually one of the fastest attacking in the game. It's not like we're playing a uh, ballistic archer or something like that. We, we should be able to get 10 hits in pretty reliably, I hope. Uh, I, I, I hope I made the right call. I, I think it's, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think at worst it would be a side grade. At best, we could argue it's an upgrade. Uh, going back and to the left, we spot one more chest. Bring our total up to 345,000 gold for this run. Do you remember when we were like trying to just scrounge together enough to get 20,000 for a run and that felt like a big deal? Those days are so out, so long, so far behind us, so far. This room does offer us the apple and we shall take it. Because we get healed up to full health entering the boss fights, this just means that we're going to have more max health when we get there. And like we're almost at the end. Yeah, that was like literally the last room. And on top of that, another and, we uh, sacrifice some extra health with that uh, resolve. 
At least I thought we did. Did having more health give me resolve back? I... All right. Uh, teleporter unlocked. Nothing else for us to do here. Let us head inside. Quick reminder, if you're enjoying today's video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Helps us out a ton here on the YouTube channel. Takes you just a second. I dedicate this boss kill to everyone who hit the thumbs up button. You don't want to miss out on that, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and dodge the boomerang here. The fight doesn't really start until phase two, and we already pushed phase one pretty hard here. Let's see where the other boss is going to come down. Right next to each other. Beautiful. Tried to hit them both with the spectrum. Didn't quite make it. Oh, my God. They're so grouped up. This is so good. Oh, my God. This is so good. I'm going to go invisible. <laughs> that was really, really good damage there. Super happy with that. We'll grab this chicken on the way out. We're going to have to fight through an army of skeletons to get back over there. But I think our fucking damage is so high that we can actually do that. Fading out, running over to the other side. Let's try to take out the boss. Oh, cats. Oh, God. Interrupted. And now we have nothing but ads to deal with. I'm going to wait for them all to spawn. Try to get them all together, honestly, if I can. <laughs> okay. Okay, am I getting a little too cocky here? Uh... <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, fuck that. Fuck that, give me the chicken. Give me the chicken. I can't lose this run. Ah! <laughs> I need to cast. Right here. Oh, didn't hit as many as I was hoping. I'm gonna need to get a little more mana. Good, one down. This one's dead. We're good, dude. We're good, everything's fine. Great cast, and they're grouped up, go invisible! Oh, yes! All right, little touch and go there for a minute, little touch and go, but everything worked out being just Fine. Oh, yeah. 350,000 gold plus, oops, excuse me, whatever we get inside of the chest as well brings us up to 381,000. I could buy a few upgrades with that. I could put that to good work. And of course, the second boss gets their picture up on the wall. Uh, I am going to move through to the next room and buy yet another teleporter. Uh, that means I've spent. <laughs> 120,000 gold on teleporters in this run alone. 128,000, right? Hey. Holy moly. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just made of money. I absolutely loved our relics in this run. That was actually so fun. So fun. But Lady Beatrix the 10th can now rest her head. The job has been done. You can sleep. Rather than buying anything there, we're gonna head straight over to the blacksmith. Yes, I would love to upgrade my chest piece. And we can equip it already, which is fantastic. And the drowned trinkets, I would love to upgrade that. And we can equip it already, which is fantastic. Plus 20% strength multiplier for the third unity bonus. Oh my God, that's actually insane. That's so good. Oh, we have our gear maxed out for the time being. That feels good. And 200,000 still left to spend. You guessed it. All of that going into... Actually, you know what? I'm going to spend some hard-earned money on the repurposed mining shaft. Max that out. That means we're getting more gold for our bonuses. And it looks like that's going to do it for our money today. <laughs> Look at that fat zero up there. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll be back again very soon as we head into the Kregluian Plateau. I've always been told I say that wrong.